Welcome to the second video in our series demonstrating how to make a WordPress site. I'm Mick and I'm showing you how to make this exact website click by click. So what's the first step? We need to install WordPress on our hosting server. This is kind of like installing an app on your computer but instead of a program we're installing WordPress and instead of your home computer we're installing it on the servers here at our data center. So let's get started by logging into your hosting account. In the home screen of your account's control panel, scroll down to the Software Services section. Find the icon labeled Quick Install and click it. Once inside the Quick Install screen, locate and select WordPress on the left-hand menu. Now, click the Continue button. If you have multiple domain names configured with your hosting account, be sure to select the correct one from this pull-down menu. Provide your email address and give your website a name. Create a username and type in your first and last name. When you're ready to install WordPress, click Install Now. Be sure to note your new login information. If you click on the site link, you'll be taken to the actual website you just made. So let's try it. Great. It opened up a window and there's my blog, just another WordPress site. <laughs> this is a template that WordPress uses as a default, kind of as a placeholder while it waits for you to go in and start making your changes. We know that's working, so let's close the window. Underneath the site URL is the admin area URL and underneath that you'll see your username and password. Some of this info will be sent to you in an email following your install so you'll always have it. The password is highly secure and auto-generated for you but you can always change it once you've logged in. So if you click the admin area URL it's going to open up another window where it prompts you for a username and password. This is the username and password just provided to you on the previous page. Remember, this is not the same as your hosting login. This is what we use to log into the WordPress website itself to make changes just to this site. So let's put that information in really quick. Username and password, then click login. Perfect, we're in. This is your dashboard. This is where you'll go to actually make your website what you want it to be. So it looks like we're good to go. In the next video, we're going to go through more of the tools involved with actually creating your website, but for now, you've completed the first step, installing WordPress. Well done. Congratulations.